The rise of private space companies opened up a new kind of tourism, the one that takes people to the edge of space, or right into space, for a brief moment of true bliss. But the rise of so many private space companies also opens up new ways of experimenting space. Let's take SpaceX and Blue Origin for instance. These two crews offer paying customers the traditional experience, people have to board a spacecraft, which in turn is propped on top of a rocket that launches from a launch pad. When it comes to SpaceX, a flight can last for a few days, while Blue Origin offers only minutes of weightlessness and amazement. Minutes in space is also what Virgin Galactic is offering. Unlike the other two, this company calls on its tourists to board a space plane, which is attached to an atmospheric plane that acts as a launch platform once a set altitude is reached. Taking a trip to space with any of these companies requires a bit of training, it also requires people to be able to withstand the heavy g-forces generated by the rocket launch or ignition of the space plane's engines, and for them to get accustomed to some degree of weightlessness. And then comes Space Perspective, a company that promises to offer a space experience with none of these, not even the zero-g feeling. We've talked about Space Perspective before, as these guys have been trying to get their business model off the ground for a while now. What business model would that be? It's Spaceflight by Balloon. The company is the maker of a transportation system called Spaceship Neptune. It comprises a balloon, aptly called Space Balloon, and a pressurized capsule dangling beneath it, called in test form Excelsior. The way this thing is supposed to work is pretty simple. The balloon lifts off from a marine spaceport, which is nothing more than a seafaring vessel, climbs to an altitude of up to 100,000 feet, spends some time up there, and then comes back down to land. The entire experience to the edge of space is supposed to last up to six hours. Although the max altitude is far from being actual space, it is still high enough to allow some truly spectacular views of our world. That's exactly what Space Perspective is betting on when it's asking $125,000 for a ticket. That, and also the fact that it promises to offer a world-class meal and cocktail service, Wi-Fi, and even an onboard toilet it calls Space Spa, we're used to hearing about insane projects being imagined and then never followed through. That's not the case here, it seems, as the company announced the successful completion of the second test flight of the spaceship Neptune. The flight took place in mid-September, and it departed from the Marine Spaceport Voyager ship parked off the coast of St. Petersburg, Florida. It then went on to perform a full flight profile flight, with no crew on board, reaching the maximum altitude, and then coming back down to perform a perfect splashdown. The balloon and the capsule were then recovered by means of a fast boat and a crane. During the six-hour mission, officially dubbed Development Flight 2, the guys and gals over at Space Perspective went through all the motions of an actual, tourist-packed flight, and put every aspect of the balloon and the capsule to the test. First, the balloon was raised using a four-roller mechanism the likes of which no one ever employed before. We don't know the exact details on it, but Space Perspective says it's something that will allow it to conduct year-round operations. The balloon was filled with hydrogen for this mission. The capsule itself, which when ready will be able to accommodate a total of eight passengers and the captain, proved it can handle the extreme temperature variations of the exterior, but also that it can maintain pressure. That's despite the fact it comes with the largest windows ever flown, panoramic glass spread around the cabin, each one standing at 52 inches. The company also used the flight to test software and communication systems, but no details on this were provided. Space Perspective plans to use the data gathered during the flight, but also data gathered during the post-flight inspection of the capsule and its balloon, to inform the future test flights, which will naturally be crewed. That will probably happen next year, and there are plans to move to true commercial operations as soon as 2026. Space Perspective says its operations will be regulated by the Federal Aviation Administration and the U.S. Coast Guard, and that it follows guidelines established by space agency NASA. And if you think there will probably be little demand for the services Space Perspective offers, think again. The company says it has already sold over 1,800 tickets.